What's up guys? Yo. Welcome back. So today we are talking about the mind games that happen when you start to change your body. So first things first, come on. It's not weird to have mind games going no, on. Loads of us think, what the hell's going on? But just as much as your training is part of the journey, your nutrition, your sleep, your flexing in the mirror, mind games are part and parcel of your journey of training. Totally. Let's use an example. Uh, let's use me for example. Typically, I stay quite lean. <laughs> just the way my body type is. So, for me, I'm not a very big guy. But let's say I wanted to put on muscle. My goal was to put on muscle. Oh, that's <laughs> my goal was to put on muscle, okay? So I start putting on muscle, but part and part of the parcel of that comes extra body fat. So then I get to this stage where I'm not big, and I'm not lean anymore. So I'm like, where am I? And the further I get away from being lean, the more kind of uncomfortable I feel. And that's part and parcel of kind of my body type. But what I have to understand that is if I want to build muscle, that is the route I have to take. But what I can do to make it easier, let's say for example, I'm 10% body fat now. I'm gonna increase I like. my calories. <laughs> I like. I'm, gonna, I'm not at the moment. I'm gonna increase my calories. I'm gonna let myself get up to 15% body fat. I'll still have abs at that point, yeah? And then I'll come back down towards 10 and back up again, okay? So little diet, three steps forwards, one step back. Three steps forwards, one step back. I can gain muscle, it will be slower, but I won't be so far that I feel really uncomfortable. And the same can be said for the complete opposite end of the scale. Yep. Obviously, you guys are looking at this going, cool, he is stacked, absolutely massive. Massive. So I have the other problem. And in the summer, when you want to diet down and you want to get a little bit leaner, but you're known as the big dude. Obviously, that's me. Yeah, right yeah, now. you're known as the big dude. <laughs> <laughs> you big douche. And you want to die down for the summer and you want to get that six pack out, but you're not quite there. What happens as soon as you start your aggressive diet, your t-shirts don't fit anymore. They get a little bit loose. The guys start going, oh, you look like you're trimming down a little bit. And you have this moment go, whoa, whoa, whoa. What did you say? Did you just say that I was small, sweetheart? <laughs> and you go straight back to your comfort zone and start banging the weight back on. Just remember, Take your time. If you diet slower, you'll be able to adjust a little bit more psychologically. First of all, aim to diet a pound a week. Simple goal to follow. And also, if you're that worried about it, just buy some smaller t-shirts, that'll be tight again. Go to Baby Gap. <laughs> yeah, other brands are available. <laughs> so we're all gonna have mind games going on. It doesn't matter if you're brand new to the gym, you're very skinny, you wanna build muscle, or you're largely overweight and you're trying to drop fat. There is still gonna be mind games going on. So what you need to do is surround yourself with positive people that are going to reinforce you, support you, not go, oh dude, you're looking a bit skinny or you're looking rugby or you look knackered. Yeah. You want people going, mate, you're doing awesome. Oh, you look wicked. Um, it's nothing wrong with giving people compliments. And you've got to surround yourself with positive people. And simply just accepting the fact that those voices in your head telling you, oh my God, you need to do this, or you need to do that, it is part of the journey. So understanding that and making yourself aware of that will instantly help you deal with them a little bit more. And you control your thoughts. Exactly You that. control them. You can go, that's a load of rubbish, get out of there. Yeah. Um, and you can reinforce them with positive things, like much the same with people that kind of have bad relationships with food, you've got to enforce those positive feelings. Oh, I'm feeling skinny, but I'm not. Look, the scale says I'm doing this, I'm feeling good, I've got loads of energy, life is good. It's exactly that, <laughs> it's justification. If you're worried about body fat and that kind of stuff, measure your body fat. Give yourself to, something to look at that will tell you that you're getting leaner and you're getting closer and closer to your goals. If you've got factual information to cover yourself, you can tell that voice in your head to get lost very quickly. So we want all of you out there watching yeah. this to get involved. Air your dirty laundry, all those comments, those weird things that go on in your head when you're training. Something as simple as, you know, what's the most reoccurring thought that you have? Mine personally is, I'm in the middle of a set and I'm going, I'm not gonna have for lunch today. Yours, yeah, I'm sure I'm, it is. I'm normally driven by food. <laughs> and what's yours? I don't really have any at the moment. Do you know, are you feeling pretty good? I am feeling really good, but most of the time I'm just thinking, ow, oh, this aches or this hurts, or because I keep hurting myself with gymnastics, so I'm like, <laughs> oh, I wonder if this is going to get better. Oh, brilliant. So, if you've got any, chuck them below, we'll have a good look through and we'll all have a good laugh together because, you know, it is a journey, it is fun, you're supposed to laugh along the way, so we'll all laugh together. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, give us a massive thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you do, and we'll see you this time next week. Bye, guys. See you later.